Here I've got two P1Ss. As a demonstration, I've got one that's got the newest firmware, which is the 0107. And then this one has got a previous firmware, which is 0106, 0102. And this one is my favorite firmware, just for the simple fact that it has a dynamic auto bed leveling, which allows you to probe the bed only where you're going to be printing. So I've always stuck with this one and I've had absolutely no issues with AMS or anything else. This firmware does have some issues when you're running your custom codes and we're going to talk about that right now. In this firmware 0107, when we install our card and we look at the files, you see these little periods and underscore that shows up first and then it puts the name of the file. So these are just temporary files and you cannot run them. So if we try to run this, it just says print finished. So at the top, at the top of the list is all those temporary files and then the actual files are at the bottom of the list. So we go all the way down here. You'll notice that the dot and the underscore disappears. There we go. And now we can run these. So now it's working. On this machine, 0106, 0102 is the firmware. Same SD card. We go down and you see that the files show up as they should. And even if you scrolled all the way to the very, very, very bottom, just take my word for it, there's no additional temporary files. You can run any of these files, no problem. And now we can use our phone. And we can check to see if we're lined up, which this file that I ran is clearly landing in the center of one of the nubs. So what are your options? Well, first one and the simplest, well, this is a little bit inconvenient you can just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list until you get to the files that you want but what i would recommend doing is getting the handy app out and if you go to the machine that you wanted to change the firmware go to the little hamburger at the top go to firmware version scroll all the way to the bottom and click on this little i want to downgrade to a previous firmware and now all the previous firmwares are listed here and you can downgrade to any one of these. So this is the one that we want, 060102. Select that and install. And that's it. Now the machine will revert to this previous firmware and you'll also gain the ability to have the dynamic bed leveling. Thanks for watching.